Well, good evening, good afternoon, and hello, everybody. Hope everyone is ale peachy keen. Uh, Kenny is trying to find his water, so he's out and about trying to find that water of his. He'll be here L momentarily. Hope everyone's doing well. Let us know that you're out there, that you're li that you're with us, alive and well, because I'm sure you are. Um, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing with this, but it'll be interesting to see what we're going to make. It's going to be very fun, I'm sure. Hello, Roberta. She was first from Facebook. Let's see if we can get a YouTube -y person on. Then we know that it is working on both accounts. Hello, Tony. Hello, Barbie. Still no Facebook. There we go. Or not YouTube. Hello, Park. Hello, Bendy. There's our YouTubers. Hope everybody's doing just peach keen. We uh, had lots of fun this afternoon. We couple, took a couple hours to, hi Sherry, we took a couple hours to bathe our puppies, our puppy dogs. So they have fluffy butt. No, no, stop no. it, Hunter. Hunter, stop it. Hunter. Hello, Anne Marie. Hello, Star. Um, so they're very fluffy. Fluffy butts. Because what was bad is that. He was really stinky. Stinky. Hunter, stop it. I can Hunter, see you from here. Hi, you CD. will be put in time Hi, out. Jackie. Hunter, come here. You want Elena to say hi everyone? Petruzzi. Hunter. Hunter babies. Hunter babies. Come here. All right. Hi, CC. Come say hi to everyone. Oh, hi. Come here. Come here, buddy. Do you want to show everyone how handsome you are with your bath? You a handsome boy now? Yeah. Do you smell good? Because yes. you were kind of stinky. Really. You were kind of stinky. He was a little stinky. All right. Okay, go. Okay, get it. Ready, CC? Or not. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wow. wow. All right, guys. Welcome to a live. Sorry we didn't go live on Friday. I I wasn't feeling the best. I think I was just worn down and needed some self-care. So that is what yep. we did. Hi, Sandy. Hi, um, Shaba. If you are Don't new Sandy. to our Chalk Tour Lives, welcome. If you're on YouTube, all of the links are below the mm -hmm. description. If you're on Facebook, today's secret word. Helps to be on the thing. Our secret word is radish, which is reminds me of down a Fraggle Rock. <laughs> no, does it? I, yeah, I don't know. I, he never saw Fraggle Rock. I know is what weird. it is, but I never saw it. Um. All right. So, uh, you guys all know I love to tell you how you can experience Chalk Tour, which there is mm -hmm. three great ways. You can shop directly from our website which right now there's free shipping if you spend $50 or more, plus all the other promos we'll talk about. You can join our amazing club couture program, which is Happy Mail every single month and you mm -hmm. get exclusive transfers, or you can join the team, which is the best deal. Now, eventually I'm gonna have a super duper fun landing page that I'm working on, but we've also been very busy with this thing called freeze dried candy, so that's been happening. But let me just quickly tell you guys, if you are looking at Club Couture, it's $19.99 a month. Mm -hmm. That gets you three exclusive, no, it gets you an exclusive transfer and three pay singles. This month, if you were to join by the end of March, you will get the Botanicals transfer, which is probably one of my favorite transfers they've ever released. And then in April, starting April 1st, you will get the um, Farm Fresh Organic and those three pay singles. You also get exclusive deals, you get um, promos, and if you join Ken's Creations, you get um, even more exclusive perks. Just a sec, there we go. I had to turn this down just a smidge for a sec. Um, so you get quarterly happy mail, which a lot of our Club Couture members started getting their happy mail and posting it. So we're excited you guys like what you got in the mail and hope you get to use it. Mm. Um, and Oh, it's $21.99 a month. Thank you. It did go up in price. I apologize. Thanks, man. I keep saying $19.99 a month and it's, it it's, went up. It was like that for like forever. Ever. And now it's $21.99. Yes. Um, you also get... Uh, access to my exclusive Club Couture Facebook group where we do lives and giveaway projects. Um, and you get special discounts on mm -hmm. stuff. Now, if you want to get the best of everything, I recommend joining as a designer. As a designer, you get 40% off everything in the catalog. You can earn an additional 20% in free products. You can get designer dollars. Um, it is the best way to experience Chalk Couture if you know you're going to be purchasing 
a lot on an ongoing basis. Um, right now, there's just two ways to join on the starter kit. You can join Designer Access Pass, which gets you um, access for just a $9.99 activation fee in the United States. Or you can join with the March Spring Starter Kit, the Spring Pack. You will get $317 worth of product for just $99. Amazing deal. Definitely recommend that. Um, let's talk really quick about Etsy because we are going to be doing some stuff with my Etsy store. We do have an Etsy store. That is where you can find our digital files, mm -hmm. our cutouts, mm -hmm. our freeze-dried candy, and the blaze powder that we're going to be using today. Um, and then all my artwork also goes up there. So uh, I've added a lot of stuff. We um, have added, we will on Friday be adding our nerd gummy clusters. So I can show you those really quick. So they're going to be in a package that looks like this. Whoops, wrong camera. Sorry. Tilt it sideways. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. Those will be in Friday. Mm -hmm. We've added a ton of wood cutouts, but recently we've added the We Do Dog Pigs in this house. Um, so this has been added. Can you show them the actual cutout? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, in the Etsy store, we've also added um, some other things, but I wanted to specifically talk about this one. A lot of people have been asking for cutouts that fit in our tiered tray. And I worked, um, I wanted to make sure that this would work for everyone. And I opened all my tiered trays and realize these are not consistent nope. um, for chocolate. A lot, of people, a lot of people have said that. Um, so I wanted to make sure our SVGs and cutouts would fit. So on our Etsy store, you can of course get a set that fit perfectly in there. You can see there on that one how it's a little off. Um, you have the choice between thick and thin wood. So you can get a full set of circles in our thick, which is a quarter inch, or you can get it in the thin, which is an eighth of an inch. But I also had some people say that they would like the circles cut in half. So we also have those, where you can get a thick piece cut in half, you can get the thin and thick piece cut in half. So there's a whole bunch of different options um, uploaded in our Etsy store. So if you wanna get those, those are available now. And then last but not least, we will be using today our Blaze Powder, and that is this stuff you get for $17.95. You get the Blaze Powder, which makes an awful lot. You'll get a whisk, a tablespoon, and a teaspoon. And this will make quite a bit because you don't need to use a ton. So, that is what we're going to be using today. And I'm going to be using it with, oh, I need to go get one, our cutting board. Mm -hmm. Hello, Sam. Hi, Kat. Hi, uh, Aloha, Janet and Beth. Richard Candy. Thank you for that video. It was very cool to watch. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my ba blaze powder. Now, when we send this, we do send it with instructions, but we also send it with a little bit of an instruction on the side here. And I just use actually a um, Chocotour paste lid. We'll go grab that. It should, should, uh, actually, it's in here. Oh, you already got it in here? Yeah. And then you just follow the instructions. So basically, Angela? it's one teaspoon of the powder and two tablespoons of cold water. I usually do about a tablespoon and a half because I like mine a little thicker. And you always want to shake this jar of stuff when we ship it to you because it can settle. I'm going to be running over to my uh, water, but I'm going to add first the teaspoon. And then I'm going to go add my tablespoon and start whisking. We'll watch you do that. Just a little bit is all you really need. And the nice thing, like you said, a little bit goes a long ways. And uh, you could, if you really, really wanted to, but 
not really needed, but you could add a, a drop or two of some food coloring. Yeah, but you I think add just a little food coloring. It will help you see it if you're doing like a big design, but um, but if not, not just needed. A, you should see just the wetness of it. Yeah. So if you want to, you can always add just a little bit more. You can always add some more water to thin it down, but you do want to let it set for about five minutes before using it. And it will thicken up. I put a thickening agent in our powder to make it a nice, thick, almost paste-like. Um, some of the other stuff on the market is a thinner consistency and it will bleed under our transfers or stencils. So I found a way to make it a little on the thicker side. Um, but it's very important when you get this in the mail, you shake it because the burning agent in this is a little bit of a lighter. So it tends to settle to the bottom and you want to make sure you shake it. Now you can put this back in the fridge and keep it, but to be quite honest, a little of this goes a long way. So I even tell people the, the directions makes what you see here. You could even cut it to half and not even use that much. So this jar should last a very long time. Mm -hmm. Hello, Sandy, thank you for your order. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side. And then this, you just keep, you wanna make sure you put the lid on, keep it um, a little tight so no air, wetness, moisture gets in there. Yep. And then I am gonna go ahead and open up our decorative cutting board. now. I did buy this from Walmart, which is a piece of wood, but I have different plans for this, but it was only $6. You could use this. I'm using our Chocotour. Now, I do want to let you know our Chocotour, any of our wood product from Chocotour isn't real wood. It's like pressed wood, and then they do like a painted finish. So just keep that in mind when you are using any kind of um, heat source or like this because the blaze powder basically eats the wood, so it does have to go through this finish. Now, there is two different ways you can heat this. Mm -hmm. So, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up putting this on, we're gonna dry it, and then to activate it, you heat it. And you could definitely use a heat gun, which we have. We have the Wagner heat gun. Um, it works great. The thing on this, no matter how well you move this around or consistently move it, you will get burn marks. It's just really hot. It's hard to avoid it, but you can use that. Um, or what we're going to be doing is using our easy press to at 400 degrees, which is the highest it will go. Mm -hmm. And then that way we can put a piece of parchment paper and heat it directly. Um, and that's what we're going to do. A couple things on this is the, like Sean was saying, is you could add a little bit of food coloring. That way you can see it if you're doing multiple designs. Just keep in mind that sometimes, um, depending on your food coloring, it can stain your wood if it gets seeps out. The other thing too is once you have it like right here, I don't want to add any more powder. I can add water to thin it out, but powder I can't add because it won't at this point dissolve in it because it's now more of a... So viscous paint. or whatever they call it smell that goo yeah which Ooze. you you want because this gives you more control on the transfer um so i'm gonna go grab a pair of gloves it's you don't necessarily need it but put safety first safety first and all those that are into safety osha you know how it is so he's gonna go get gloves do, 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 do. Oh, you bought one that got moldy? Yeah, we heard people who bought some other ones off of, and we're talking about the blaze powder that Beth said that there are some out there that if you buy it, it get, gets moldy. Don't know why. Looking forward to buying more Friday. Yes, we're going to have our little uh, things about that. So they sh like I said, they're going to come in this container. It'll be a little fuller than this. And the thing is, and it will state this, that those things are so delicate that you will get some that are crushed and fallen, but that's fine. It is fine because you can put that on top of ice cream. Or and we're giving your, people extra. We're putting extra. You're not getting so just So instead of just fun. an ounce, you're getting about 1.3 to 1.5 ounces. While we're waiting for this to set up a little, I got these in the mail. Hmm. I'm an official light maker with Chalk Tour. So when we donate a certain amount and hit certain levels, we get recognized as light makers. And they send you exclusive transfers and stuff. So this is this year's. 
Light Knows No Borders, and then What's Love, yep. Lightmaker I Support. So very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the transfer. Now, we've already used the transfer because we were testing it, so I wanted to dry it. But we're going to be using the Etched Radish, which I love this transfer. Well, thanks, Shannon. Uh, this shirt is from rsvlts.com. Roosevelt for short, or for his, what it basically stands for, but yeah. They've got tons and tons of stuff. That's pretty cool. Hi, Jerry. Wanda and Sheila from Canada. So our new transfers, you can see where it's going so we can line it up real nice and I'm just gonna push it down. Make sure we have a good adhesion and grab a squeegee. Where's my gloves? I had them. Here they are. Yeah. Valerie says, Sean and Ken, I got my sample pack from uh, Fritters. Frittles. I know you say Frittles and it comes out Fritters. Uh, oh my gosh, I wish I could, you could see my face while trying them. They were zingy. Nice. Thanks, Valerie. I love them. Yep. All right, so I'm just going to put an ample amount on here. And this is where Sean was saying, if you wanted to add food coloring, it would allow you to see on top of the transfer, did you get it all? I tend to just look at it at an angle in the light and you'll see where you got it. And it doesn't take a ton, so we're just going to put it on. And then all of this extra I can Have you seen the pickle pickle fritters at Donut Parade? No. So nice that they're back into back in business. They were in business like forever. But yeah, it sounds kind of interesting because I do like a good pickle. So you can see, you can see it yeah, right there. I'm going to go clean this. And what you're going to do before we add heat is we want to dry this just using a regular yeah. hair dryer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hair dry and then you'll see it just disappear as I dry it. with the owner oh, how cool how cool so you can see it basically disappeared but it, it is now dry and white so this will all all that stuff that's white will turn dark when we put the heat on it <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so i have my easy press set to 400 and the reason we want to dry it is because we are gonna put a piece of parchment paper so you don't want it to be wet and sticky and grab that from it so we can mm -hmm. just cut that. After Nurse Clusters is coming, we're we don't know, it's either Charleston shoes or a bit of honey. I think Charleston shoes. They are fabulous. All right. So once again, I could use this, heat it, and I would obviously want to always keep moving because if you don't, this can happen where you get the darker, and I could hit dark along that whole thing, but. It's not what you want. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and. Hello, Beth. So we're gonna start at 30 seconds. The consistency on this is, is really adding the heat to it to activate it. Did you move it or did you just sit it? I just let it sit and then looked at it every so often to see how far it went. How many seconds would you say you did? Oh, minutes. Minutes? Minutes, not seconds. This only gets to 400. That gun on low is like, 900 mm -hmm. and the high is like 1200 degrees so that's so you can see it's just starting it's just to starting. 
but it's it's if leaving this heat on for a long a longer period of time eventually gets there but this is safer in a safe way if you don't have a, a big heat gun you could probably even use a torch if you wanted to but you're obviously going to get some really good burns in some torch oh yeah you could yeah I personally like to use my heat gun and get the darker wood and I'll I tend to take it along the whole thing and get that burnt wood look all the way down but you can see this is just getting where it needs to versus the whole wood but Kathy Tom says oh my god bit of honey is delish so are, so are the Mary Janes other than what I know what Mary Janes is as in Mary I love Mary Janes what the heck is Mary they're Jane's? like a peanut butter why haven't I ever seen those? Look up Mary Jane. Candy. Here. <clears throat> I can do this brand. Okay. Once you see the wrapper, I think you'll be like, oh, that's right. Holy criminy. Huh. You've never had no, those? Nope. Oh, while I'm doing this, Sean has some new transfer peaks to show yes. you. Yes. Real quick, Bobby says, my sister... Saw an article that said a Great Dane had 21 puppies I saw that in same 27 article. hours. Holy I was shocked. Really? That has to Isn't be a record. Isn't that crazy? That has to be a record. All right. Yes, pictures. This is, uh, you'll see uh, our lovely uh, Angie. Angie. I don't know why I just went blank with her name. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Yeah, maybe a little hard to see, but here's Angie holding up a cut out along with the of the camera and will be a little more better picture here in a minute here's the cut out and all you Canadians they now have one for Canada because there there is a US version of this where every state's got a na its name in there I hope they bring a cow print hmm. This is the sports one. Uh, one of the people during our couture tour used that. It's uh, tennis, baseball, football, soccer, and each one has its own um, little saying from a famous person of that sport. Like uh, baseball is Babe Ruth. I think tennis is Serena Williams, I think. Football was the legendary Tom, Br uh, Tom Laundry from the uh, Dallas... Uh, from Dallas and from soccer, I don't know who it is, but anyway. Uh, next one is outdoors and s'mores. How cute for the uh, winter time or for the summertime. And last but not least, some minis. Gotta have some minis. All right, so I'm gonna show you how this, this works. You can see, but I'm also now gonna show you this as well just so you guys can both see all the processes so the the cricket easy press will work you just kind of basically move it around just like you would and then this the big key is this gets extremely hot i put down my easy press hence this <laughs> mat and the key on this is you just want to hit it where your goods are and it will do the it will start the burn process if you put it in one area too long it will burn, um, burn that area it'll burn that area so nancy b hello can't wait for those free dries nerds you have it on low or high oh thanks okay. well I'm you can do my parchment paper removed it a little bit because it's I not doubt it. Huh? I don't think so. It was dry. It was very dry. Oh, there it goes. So obviously, the longer you put in that area, the darker it will get. We heard there's a possibility way you can do um, using, doesn't that burn your mat? 
If he gets that too close to the mat, yes. Yeah, so these burn marks are so, from this gun. And this does take, you know what, maybe I will. See, I think this has a finish on it. Let me just hand it. So this does take a little bit longer just because, and Sean can explain, because of what we, what we're using on the, the finish on this. But you can see, essentially that's what it would look like. And you can see the longer I put heat on it, the darker the burn. But I like this look where I just barely start hitting it with that darkness and it turns on you. Um, let me grab just a, a plain piece of wood so you guys can see. Mm -hmm. Hey, George. Oh, yeah, right here. I'm not sure where we're going for the next couture tour. South Carolina would be a very expensive plane ride. What's that? There was a little piece of wood out here. Did you move it? Never saw it. What kind of wood? Just a regular piece of wood. It was like a two by four that I was. Never saw it. Oh. Yeah, the burn wood is kind of fun if you know what you're doing. So, does it burn your mat? Yes, it will burn your mat if you get it too close. <laughs> if you want to have something underneath, let's underneath what you're working on, use if you have a, a big giant rock, marble, granite. If you have a piece of it thick, uh, you can that absorbs heat very very well. Uh, these do not cannot take that kind of heat because this is way way hot, way way hot. I can get you one if you come back in here. I was going to say, all I have is thin stuff. Oh, here it is. Did you find it? Found it. So this is just plain old 2 by 4 wood. So let me grab just to show you guys the difference. So if it doesn't have a finish on it, like this stuff. Hi, Heidi. Sandy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. I need something like oh wait there that will work probably thanks George yeah Good old Spider-Man. I have a few other Spider-Mans. Lots and lots of uh, Star Wars. Um, Sean Corey is loving the candy. Well, I'll tell Corey. I'm glad he is. We got more coming. Uh, yes, those were those cutting boards from Chocolatier that you saw originally. The other one, the light wooded one, was not. That was a one from you said which. Walmart? Yeah, you could use the ones from Truck Tour. We've done it before where Sean's just lightly sanded them. And it's like this stuff just takes better to it. I don't know how to... I think it's because it's trying to get through that finish first. Mm -hmm. um, now, the one thing on using natural wood is you will get kind of at first the burn marks of the grain of the yeah, wood. The, the, soft, the softer part of pine, especially pine, um, will burn quicker than the harder ones, and then eventually it, it'll switch. So some people like that uh, that lined look. Ooh, there we're we... using the, uh, the heat gun. You don't have to dry it. You know? No, not really. I think it's always good. We found it to be good. Wanna grab my heating net? See how quickly the, I'll wait till Sean gets here. It goes quick on when it's not. You'll see it dry real quick. See, look at that. It almost bubbles. Let me just kind of go down it. 
See how it just kind of pops? And once again, the secret on any kind of wood is to constantly move it around. And it takes a little bit of time for it to start turning, but then once it does, you'll really see it turn. I'll start with the light amber color. Would it make a difference if you sanded it? Yes. Yes, it would. Um, Beth, if you have something that has a finish, if you want to sand it down to its natural state of wood. Now, of course, our wood, our truck, those truck tour boards is not real wood. It's a, what do they call it, a uh, MDF type material. So it's, it's a wood product, but it's not wood like this. Um, but you can still do that if you want to get rid of the finish and make it work a little better. So I always say the first part is you're going to start getting the herbs. I call it the herbs, which is a whole bunch of little dots first. And then it'll go and it'll start going through the burn stages. And then on natural wood like this, I purposely burn it because I like the look. So I'm going to end up going back and forth like this and getting that wood grain. But you do you. So if you don't like the wood burnt look, you're going to want to move faster like this. It just takes a little longer. And then I do, I'll show you at the end how I distress it a little. And the other thing that will stop from um, getting the burn marks is to stop for a second, let it cool down, then go again. But obviously, let me show you, if you get too close and stay in one spot, you're going to start burning. But I'm going to end up distressing it anyway, so I'll show you what I mean by that. And some wood that you use, there was one time we were using wood and sap started coming out. And that really smells up your house real quick. All right, there we go. So it's going to start uh, burning now, and you're going to start seeing the lines in the wood. I'm going to go really dark on this part here, and then I'm going to start distressing it on the other wood. And just like that, you can keep adding to get more hot or more burn marks, light burn marks, kind of whatever you want to do. So it depends on if you like that wood burnt look, definitely use that. If you like more of, here's a perfect example. If you like, this is using the easy press. So we got a lighter look, but we have no burn marks where on this side, I got a darker look, but I definitely have some burn marks. And once again, I can distress this by just going up to the sides close and hitting it with this hot and it's just going to give us that burn mark on the side here. It just takes a little longer because this stuff has that coating.
look at that. Gives you a nice little, almost like you're inking the edges. Almost. <clears throat> One time I was doing this and I was showing Sean how to like, oh, you can really get close to the edges. And I got so close I started the thing on fire. Uh, Beth is asking if you pre-stain the natural wood with the stain bubble. Uh, I think I it's. Think so. I think so. Yeah. So you're gonna want to do it afterwards. What temperature did we use on the heat press? Um, if you have four hundred. If, if you have, have the, the two. if you have the newer the two or higher, uh, it'll be four hundred. Just be careful, that's very hot when it's done. Yes. You don't want to burn yourself. So there you go. Nice. Kind of another way to use our transfers and get a cool look. And um, I like this look, especially during Christmas time when you do like... Mm -hmm. um, you did a Santa Claus? I did a Santa yeah, Claus. I did um, a sleigh. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. So if you want to grab some it is in our etsy store along with all of our cutouts and uh digital files and everything um it is getting close to the end of the month so don't forget it's transfer palooza buy three get one free and um oh they did sell out of the transfer tote so for club members that spend a hundred dollars or more you're now going to get a fuzzing cloth transfer trimmers and placement tape instead of that tote because they ran out and we found out that the new color is called duchess and that one so sold out academia on april 1st academia sold out and on the first we will see what duchess, duchess. looks like so duchess so anyways we will see you guys on thursday, thursday. Yes. <laughs> i should think about that so um, if you are watching my other channel, I will be doing a Ken from the car tomorrow. So check for that on my sister channel around 3 to 4 o'clock.